In today's episode, what we're going to do is change the spark plugs and the spark plug uh, wires on my 2018 Harley Davidson Road Glide Ultra. And I'm going to show you all the steps that I'm taking to do this. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you is my setup um, for getting ready to do a job like this. I got most of the tools that I'm going to be using here. I got my spark plug wires. These are uh, the Screaming Eagle uh, 10 millimeter fat spark plug wires, and they're red. And I got them in red because it matches my bike. Um, you don't really see the spark plug wires that well, but I did anyway. And of course, I bought a set of four spark plugs. These are Harley Davidson. Um, Plug number 6R10 and the part number is 3316-00012. Okay, um, and this uh, is a Harley Davidson specific uh, tool set, a uh, travel tool set, and most of the tools that I'm going to use on this job are actually going to come out of this particular toolkit, so that's why I have it sitting here. Uh, you can find these on um, the Law Abiding Biker Store, they're on Revzilla, and a couple of other places you can find them. It's Cruise Tools, C-R-U-Z Tools. I'll put a, a link to that in the uh, description section as well. And I've got a plug remover. We have some uh, anti-seize lubricant. And that's about it. I got my laptop and a torque wrench, so we're all set. Oh, and also down here on the floor, I have uh, just a mat, because I'm going to, you know, you have to remove the fuel tank. So we're going to set the fuel tank and the seat of the bike on the floor out of the way. All right, so the first thing that we have to do, I've got to remove the seat. So we will first take the backrest off. Set that out of the way. And the next thing we have to do is remove the seat. And there is just one screw that holds the seat in place. Just, it's a Phillips head screw. And just unscrew it. Okay, and there's a the screw. And now we also have a strap here that has to be removed. And to remove the strap, you've got to un, uh, open up both of your lids um, for your saddlebags. Lift the seat up and slide it back, and it'll come straight off. Okay, so uh, the next thing I like to do whenever I'm working on a project like this, I like to take pictures of everything because we're going to have to disconnect these two wires. There's a vent hose here, and then there's also another vent here um, for the fuel tank. And so we're going to, I'm going to just take a couple of pictures of this. Just in case I forget or something goes, I like to do this on every project that I want to be easy. So I even though it's just two, and there's one black one and one white one, and note that the both the connector and the receiving part of this uh, connection are color coded, so it's really kind of hard to mess them up. I don't think they would. I don't think you can cross. I don't think you can screw that up. To be honest with you, it would take some effort. Um, and this plug here or this vent, it just pulls straight out. So there's not a whole lot there either. All right, so let's take those pictures. Pull right out. And 
they just pull straight off. There's nothing screwing them in. They just slide in and slide right back out. Also very dirty. Another part. I'm going to take some cleaning. Nice. thing we're going to do is unbolt the fuel tank. So we have fuel tank is held here and here. And there's also uh, here the little plastic cover that has to go off. There's one of these on both sides of the bike. You'll have to take those to get to the bolt to remove that. So we're going to Pop that off. Now you can see how that goes on. Very straightforward. And it is right there. I'm just going to pull on it. It comes right off. All right, so I'm going to use a half inch socket to remove. Here. There's one. We'll go on the other side and do the same thing. And the next thing we're going to do is disconnect the fuel line here. There's Just have to jiggle it a little bit to get it out. And we'll leave the fuel line covered. And what I'm looking at here is this vent tube and how it hangs down right here. So we'll just cut the zip tie, which frees up the vent tube. And we'll just pull that out. Okay, the next step is to disconnect the two wires here, or the cables, and we also have to disconnect our vent. And we've already pulled the other vent out, so we're all set. We'll lift the tank. So now that the tank is removed, this gives me an opportunity to really clean up bike and, and reach a lot of the areas that you typically can't reach. We're going to clean up some of the chrome up front and polish that while we got the tank removed and get this nice and clean. So according to the owner's manual, the uh, spark plug gap should be 0.031 to 0.035 inches. So we're going to check the gap on our spark plugs. Okay. But now that we have the tank removed, there are fork spark plugs that we are going to place on this motorcycle. There's one here, one here, and then there's two on the other side, on the right hand side of the bike, which are a little bit more difficult to reach. One here and one here. And of course, I don't have the right tool here. So we're going to have to improvise a little bit to remove the spark plug wire.
crispy. So this kit actually comes with the zip ties that we'll need. So we won't worry about the old zip ties. I got a cool sticker here, a little somewhere. Oh, and some instructions. Now, what we have in the box here looks like our four spark plugs, and they are different lengths. We have two longer ones and two shorter ones. So each one of these plug wires for a different plug depending on where it goes so that's actually helpful. We'll set that aside.
we'll reattach the vent hose. We attach the two cables here. running like a champ uh, just taking a four quick test drive and runs good runs nice and smooth so no issues i guess i did everything right